Well, next at six, Madison's mayor says that it shows understanding and dedication to the city. We're talking about union concessions to keep the city of Madison's budget in the black. News 3's Mark Lovacott has more on changes for police and fire unions, Mark. And Eric and Sarah, of course, these changes that we're talking about are all based on the modified contracts of these two unions being ratified. Both could be voted on in each union very soon. Mayor Paul Soglin says this is, a, is an example of how collective bargaining works. The modifications belong to the police and fire Firefighters Union. It would save the city $2.3 million next year alone and would mean no layoffs and virtually guarantee no furloughs. Now, some of the concessions both unions agree to include members making a 3% contribution to the retirement fund. Also, most of the costs of their uniforms would become the responsibility of union members. In addition, the city would no longer contribute to health insurance for retirees. These are some major changes and I think show a tremendous understanding and, and dedication by the police officers and the firefighters. The city came to us with a crisis and as police officers and firefighters always do in a crisis, we responded to help and, and that's, what we, that's what we're doing here today. Union leaders say they didn't have to open up the contracts, but they did because the city needed help and they say city services would have suffered with the very real possibility of layoffs. There is much more to the contracts, including cuts in year two and possibly through 2015. Specific details and numbers were not released today. Union members say, union leaders rather, say they want their members to see the full contract before all of it is made available to well, the Well, and public. you said all of this needs to be ratified. Mm -hmm. When? How soon can that happen? We could see ratification by each union happen as early as next week. Those modified ratified contracts also need city council approval, which is also expected, and that could happen as early as October 18th. We will keep following it. Yep. Mark Lovacott. Thanks, Mark. Sure.